Well, well, well. Am I excited to play The Walking Dead for the first time in 2024? Honestly, I'm kind of I'm kind of lying, but I'm also not. I've played The Walking Dead before, but I didn't know it was season 3. The Walking Dead A New Frontier was part of like the the four seasons. I thought it was just like a standalone, you know? But I never played the first Walking Dead, so I didn't finish season three yet. I got to like the last episode, and I didn't even start the last episode. And I could tell that Clementine is the main character. And um, yeah, I just want to, you know, take you guys on my journey of The Walking Dead and my first time playing it in 2024. Okay, so we got to figure out a way how to make this full screen. I will be right back. A few moments later. Oh my god, that is that is Clementine as a kid. No freaking way, dude. I played The Walking Dead in New Frontier and Clementine is growing up. Nah, this is crazy. We we, we definitely let let's get this started. Episode one. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Now people are saying that the new frontier, that is not true. That's what I'm hearing is that the things you choose in the new frontier doesn't actually change the outcomes. I don't know, you guys let me know about the new frontier or a new frontier. You gotta let me know. The Walking Dead. I never actually watched the show or really ever played the game. A new frontier is basically all I played. Episode one, a new day, okay. These graphics are looking nice. What? Going to jail, bro? For what? Is this Clementine's dad? Hmm. I don't want to make assumptions, I'm just saying. Wonder what he's going to jail for. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Uh, why do you say that? You know what they say. Why do you say that? I'm gonna say, why do you say that? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time? Every time? <laughs> Every time. Okay. Oh, we can look around? Nice. Okay. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. Uh, so you, what do you think? What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big mess of trial like that. Even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. So I like how this doesn't start off with just zombies. It starts off like in the real world. And then, you know, an apocalypse happens or whatever. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? Did you want to know how I see it? Sure. Yeah, there's a lot of cops, dude. Sure. The apocalypse might be happening already. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Fuck you. Or she married the wrong guy. <sighs> could have said fuck you, actually. Yeah, they got a helicopter. Hold on a second. Yo, the apocalypse has happened already. And he's taking me to jail? I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Are available for you coming to one then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. <laughs> Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. 
Maybe he was innocent. <laughs> Yo, I, like, what's Maybe going he was on? Innocent. Innocent. If he was crying like a they baby. They caught the fucker red-handed. Oh, stabbing well. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. So is Jeffrey Dahmer? He actually believed it himself. Jesus Christmas. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This That's a zombie. That's a zombie. And a bit more That's a zombie. I do say so. Fucking try. Other okay, so the apocalypse did already happen. Holy shoot! I thought it did. Get that shotgun. Get that shotgun in the front seat. Get that shotgun in the front seat. Oh. I'm guessing that cop died because I'm hearing noises. Definitely broke his leg. I didn't break anything. Uh, fuck. Oh yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it definitely hurt his leg. Use right stick to look away to find out the car. Yeah, right here. Hey! Hey officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here. That officer's a damn zombie, bro. Are, are we sure? Officer? He's dead. That doesn't look good. No, yeah, he's dead. He wasn't injected from the car. He's not moving. He's dead. He must have the handcuff keys on him. He must have the handcuff keys on him. Come on. Come on, you can get out of here. Come on. There you go. I need to drag myself out that window. Come on. Oh, this is more interactive than uh, The Walking Dead, though, uh, New Frontier. This is more interactive. I like this. Oh, sh... You all right? Damn, they, dr they drug him out of the freaking front seat. Ate him, the ate him for dinner. Ate him for dinner. Oh. That looked like it hurt. So the apocalypse did already be, I mean, yeah, seeing all those cops and stuff, I was thinking it already began. Damn, how did the zombies get to him that fat? The shotgun's right here. Pick it up. Oh, you can't. You got handcuffs on. Sorry, bro. Stop. Oh, you actually did. Nice. Looks empty. It's empty, though? You gotta be kidding me. All right. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. No, yeah, once I get the cuffs off. Sorry about that, man. Let's break your wrist, pry. All right, let's go. Officer? Officer! Yeah, he's dead, bro. He already looks like a zombie, to be honest. God damn. There's the keys. Look, he already looks like a zombie. There we go. Shit. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Come on, man. This is oh. not... Ooh. Ooh. I thought I was about to get bit. This officer's about to get up, I guarantee you. Guarantee you he's about to get up and try killing me. No debate. Yup, there he is. Officer. Holy shit! He's a crawler! Oh my god, he lost his legs in the in an accident? Jesus Christ. Get away from me! Put that bullet in, put that bullet in. Oh, this is interactive as hell. I like this. Put it in. Come on, come on. Right to his head. Right to his head. Oh, Jesus! Come on, man. You serious? Nah, this is a this is a pretty intense situation. I can understand why you would. Uh... I'm sorry, officer. Listen, man. It goes his brains. Damn, he lost. Yeah, he he definitely was paralyzed from that from that uh, accident. Definitely lost his legs. He was a creepy crawler. Out of the frying pan. Complete chapter one of episode one. His skin's all rotten and he smells like shit.
shit. He needs a what zombie. the hell is this? Wait, well, he doesn't know about zombies yet, huh? Are you dead? Hey! He's Are dead. you dead? <laughs> <laughs> Are you dead? He said, Are you dead? No way, he said, Are you dead? Wait, can I get up or what? Uh, am I stuck? The fuck? Oh, I did not see her there. What the hell? Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! That's Clementine. That's Clementine. That's Clementine. No way. No way that's Clementine. This is oh man. Clumsy mother trucker. Better get out of there. Oh, there's a lot of zombies. There's a lot of zombies. No, no, no way he's gonna die. He's a main character. Character. Jump over the fence. You're gonna have to do it. Oh, no. oh, no. oh, he did it. He did it. He did it. Oh my god. I thought he was gonna make it. Jesus Christmas. Who's shooting? Clementine? I didn't think the zombie apocalypse was going to happen this fast. But once I saw those cop cars flying by and stuff, it kind of made sense. Maybe this isn't Clementine's dad, to be Hello? honest. Hello? Anybody? Anybody home? This is like interactive. I like this. Way more interactive than a new frontier. I'm gonna be honest, Hello. a new frontier though. Anybody I did like the home? story. I did like it. I didn't help. finish it, but just open the door, bruv. Nice. Oh, it's locked. Come on. There you go. I was Coming gonna say in. you can break the glass. Don't shoot, okay? Not an intruder. Or one of them. Oh shit. Yeah, somebody These died in here. might need more help than I do. Somebody died in here. Oh, come on. Slipping on the blood? That's kid's hands, though. That's, that's kid hands right there. What the hell is that? Is it that? Interesting. Let's check all the drawers. I mean, maybe there's like a knife or something. Eh. There's a glass of a cup of water. I kind of need that right now. I'm stressed, stressing out. I'm stressed right now. <laughs> hmm. Nah, do I really want to open all these? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I want to open all these cabinets. You know? Let's go upstairs. I kind of need a weapon now. I kind of do need a weapon now. Oh, it's this. What's that beep? Three new messages. Message one. Left at. 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks 
so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Clementine. Message two. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three. Left at 6.51 This is sad as hell. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. It's Clementine, dude. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. Wait, she's upstairs. She's upstairs. Where, Where are, your are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? I'm outside in my tree house. They can't get in. Oh. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Dude. It's crazy. <laughs> You're not killing me today, buddy. Oh! Oh! Come on, man. Are you serious? Always tripping. You're, you're so clumsy, dude. You clumsy mother trucker. Clementine has a hammer. Clementine. 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 Clementine, come on. Give me that hammer, Clementine. Give me that hammer. Come on, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Now you're dead. Yeah, you're dead. Adventures in Babysitting. Complete chapter two of episode one. Jesus. Man. Hi there. It's Clementine, dude. Playing season three and Did you kill it? Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so, too. She was. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Look for help before it gets dark. Get out of here once the sun goes down. Look for help before it gets dark. Should we, we need to find help before it gets dark. We could get help. Yeah, it's not safe at night. We could get help. That's a good idea. It's fucking Clementine, Let's go. dude. Stay close to me. Bro, I saw Clementine growing up in season three, the frontier, a new frontier. This is... This is kind of sad. Now I'm kind of seeing why, like... I think she lost her parents. I mean, I don't think they're coming back, man. I don't think they're ever coming back. Yeah, we need help because I need to get my leg fixed up. I need to get my leg fixed up. We do need help. What the hell? <laughs> What's that? It's a tea set. Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. <laughs> That's a good idea, man. Where did Clementine go? She like disappeared. Clementine. She, I think she went that way. 
That's a good idea, though. Get in high ground. Yeah, the zombies can't get up there. All right. Yeah, it was it was kind of weird. I was I was controlling this, and it wasn't bringing me over here. But she's definitely yeah, she's definitely over here. I thought she was. All right, Clementine, let's go look for help. I need somebody to fix up my. Uh... Wait, are those people? Those are... Oh man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. No, you aren't, this man. Sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Come on, push it. I'ma help him. I'ma help him. I'ma help him. Even though I got one leg. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Man, this is so sad, dude. See, come in time, bro. Hey, she's man! A, she's a baby. Holy shit! Don't eat us! She's basically not a baby. Hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those yes. things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. How far? I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. She is. Staying put for too long is a mistake. I could have said babysitter, but I'm not what a babysitter. What do you want to do? <laughs> I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Push it, push it, push it. Push it, push it. Come on. A little bit more, a little bit more. It's stuck, it's stuck, it's stuck. There's Clementine. Look at Clementine. Clementine's trying to get out of here too. Get in the truck, get in the truck, get in the truck. Go, 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 go. For just some guy? It seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. I am just some guy. I'm not a babysitter, man. I'm not a babysitter. So Lee and Clementine, definitely the main characters. These guys might be main characters, but they're probably side characters, though. Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Hey, yeah, nice to meet you, Chet. Chet and Sean, right? Chet and Sean. All right, Sean, your parents better not be zombies. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. We just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. I should have said babysitter. Yeah, can you heal it up? Yeah. Yes, man? It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have.
Let's have a look. Yeah. This mm. is swollen to hell. Yeah, it's bad. Could, Could be, be worse. worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed? Before the car accident. I was of, getting out of Atlanta. Out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl. Oh, God, I can't. I was with a police officer. Oh, shit. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is. Clementine's yet. face. <laughs> Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. It's bad. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks, Herschel. Thanks. He might be a character. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> Okay, that'd be preferable. <laughs> There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... <laughs> I know what it smells like. <laughs> Duty. Duty. Yeah. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. What was he going for? Why was he going to jail? Hey, get up. <sighs> what an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! <laughs> but he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and... Personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. 
Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. <laughs> yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck hmm. and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Man, this is sad. Playing a new frontier and then playing this. Be sure to check in with everyone you met so far. Hey there, uh, Kitty. You need, need any, any help? help? No, I think I got it. All right, brother. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. Okay. Wait, should I talk to her? I should talk to her, right? You have such. Hey there, girls. Uh, you two. Uh, yeah. What do you do? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats, and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families, barbecues, and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. It was nice talking to her. She's cool. It's really, it's crazy, though. Um, I wish I started with this Walking Dead because I started with a new frontier, and obviously Clementine's not a little, little kid, you know? She's still a kid, but I mean, yeah, I didn't know. Hey, what's up, duck? I meant to talk to you, not wave. <laughs> Sorry about that, brother. How you doing, duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. You know how to drive, duck? Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? 
That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that sure speed things up. I got you. I got you right on to it, brother. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I, oh, yeah. Bastard. Poor girl's brains in it. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Sure thing, Sean. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. In the barn? Yes, sir. Alright, so we're basically just talking to everybody, you know. Seeing how they're all doing if they need help. Let's go help them. Need help, man? These are all going to be main characters, I can tell. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. <laughs> Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Um, I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. She was there in a treehouse. Hmm. <laughs> Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. <laughs> Go! I'll get my gun! What? 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 My leg is off of me! Wait, I'm, I'm saving Sean? And not the kid? Yo, Kenny, Kenny, what the fuck? No way, Kenny, no way. I thought we were in this together, man. No, no, no. no. Kenny just... Kenny didn't help me. I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. 
He's not I can good. fix you, don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It, it almost... It almost got me, man. It, Lee tried to save me. I know, son. And he saved this kid, but didn't help me, man. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. I wasn't strong enough. I'm sorry. If your girl is ever trapped, you better hope you get stronger, or your friends aren't cowards. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. We could have saved him, man. We could have saved him. We could have saved that ride to make it if you want it. You could have saved your kid, and you could have helped me push it, man. This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Mm. <laughs> nobody's, nobody's alive. Oh, I was gonna say nobody's alive around here. Hey there, here. you friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! Oh no. Oh no. Come in time. Run! Wait, who is that? Is she from a new No, she's not from a new frontier, I don't think. I was about to say, you can't take risks like this. Grab Clementine and run. People die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. It could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I, I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. Then just go! No, why'd I They've say that? They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't he bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, no. stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle it. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily! And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. But right now, 
We're about to be trapped in I don't here like with this one guy. of those things. I don't what like the this guy. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not on, the bad Lee. guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! No, no, come on, how do you keep falling? How do you keep falling? Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Oh. I'm not dying today. I'm not dying today. Man. You okay? Just great, thanks. Pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Do I want to save this guy? We'll get in there somehow. Do I want to save this so guy? so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local. Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And okay. I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. All right. I don't want to. I don't want to save Larry, dude. Do I really want to save Larry?
The pills are in there. Okay. Through here, through here. Alive inside? Somebody might be alive in here. Oh, they are not alive. No, they're dead. Yeah, they're dead. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Look at Clementine. First aid kit? That actually might have the pills. Maybe. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. No? Yeah, we gotta move all this stuff. Ooh, I need that. What's it's that? A... This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Wait, his parents like worked here? Had. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Yes. Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Uh. 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 have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. So his parents, his parents <sighs> were in the shop. And they died. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated. That's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen, and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Mm. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. It's gotta be bandages in a first aid kit. This is crazy seeing how all this, all this, no. after playing a new it frontier. Hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll uh, track us down. They'll find us. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? 
So I would say the key is in the drawer. No. Hmm. TV. Photo bedding. This is this is the photo of his family right here. Guaranteed. Yep. Find anything? track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? No. No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Hmm, that picture tells a story. Is the key the key might be in this bed? Parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector at least. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. I mean, maybe there might be something. Get the there? remote for that thing in here someplace. I don't know where else to look for this key. Clementine might know where it is. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. You know where it is, Clementine? How's your face? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. I'm going to keep looking around. Okay. I'm sure it's not in here. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Uh, turn on the TV. Might show us where the key is. Probably not, though. That's what I figured. No. That's what I figured. Doesn't figure. work. Is the key in here? Nah. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Where's the key at? There's nowhere else I could look. I mean, I guess it's... I don't want to leave here, though. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. I was gonna say I didn't wanna. Yeah. You're not bad, right? I. Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. It's complicated. Sometimes things happen, or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. Listen, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I do have to get ready for work. I did not find the key. I don't know where it's at, but if this video does do good, I will continue on making, uh, or we will make this a playthrough, but you know, if it doesn't, that's okay. I will be playing this game either way.